Hey guys, I'm Smitha and welcome back to my channel where I talk about all things AI and machine learning related. Over the past couple of years, we've seen machine learning completely take over the tech industry and we just see a larger and larger adoption of ML in existing tech companies. But we're also now seeing this brand new trend of startups coming up where machine learning is their core service. So I like to call these companies machine learning as a service instead of software as a service. They are offering machine learning as part of their main service. So it's very interesting that this has become such a large part of the tech industry. And now we see a lot of software developers wanting to jump on this bandwagon and wanting to learn machine learning and even shift their careers from being a software developer into a machine learning engineer. And that completely makes sense because that's the need of the industry at this hour. In fact, we can definitely expect to see this trend just become bigger and bigger as in, especially in the next five years, next, next five to 10 years, I would say. So it completely makes sense that this is what a lot of people want to do. And I personally have also transitioned from being a software developer into being a machine learning engineer over the past five years. So in this video, that's exactly what I want to talk about, how you guys can go from being a software developer and shift into becoming a machine learning engineer, changing your career, what exactly are the steps that you guys should be taking in order to do so. So let's get started. Transitioning from being a software developer into a machine learning engineer is not necessarily the most straightforward path. There are many other roles within software development, within tech, which are much more easier for a software developer to transition into. Machine learning engineering is not exactly one of them, but it's definitely possible. And we're gonna talk about exactly what steps you need to take in order to do so. So the step number one is understanding what are your advantages coming into ML as a software developer, because there's quite a lot of advantages and we need to talk about that. First things first, it's coding. And of course, although coding is not the main aspect of being a machine learning engineer, it definitely helps. So knowing how to code is a huge aspect. And as a software developer, you already have that uh, knowledge as well. So you, you already have that coming into machine learning. So that's an added advantage, at least in my books. And the second thing is having some understanding of computer architecture and resource management. This is something that we don't actually talk about uh, within machine learning courses. I don't see a lot of people highlighting this, but having this understanding of uh, resource management, computer architecture, I feel it is really important because as a machine learning engineer, if you are uh, training your models or running these uh, models, which are taking up a lot of processing power, it helps to know exactly how uh, your computer architecture is working. So that's also an added bonus coming in. So as you would know how to code, you would also know how to easily pick up a lot of different libraries. For example, within Python, we have a lot of dedicated machine learning libraries within Python. And if you are a software developer, you have this knowledge of being able to easily pick up various libraries through experience. So that is a ha added advantage. And of course, being able to easily read uh, documentation of these Python libraries, that is also a huge skill that you have coming in. So these are all really important skills that you would need when you are becoming a machine learning engineer. Now let's talk about what you need to build. So now that you know exactly what skills you have, which are extremely useful, what exactly are the skills that you need to be building? The first thing is maybe you need to be building better understanding of the math behind machine learning models and also your general and basic knowledge of machine learning. What exactly is it and how does it work? So this is a very important aspect which you need to focus on building. You don't need to know the nitty gritty details of the latest uh, ML models. You don't need to know exactly how those work. Those will definitely come in time by reading uh, machine learning papers, by reading uh, various research papers which are published within the industry. Those will definitely come in time, but it's important that you build your foundation. So machine learning basics, as well as the basics of uh, whatever math and statistics which are required. 
When it comes to learning the fundamentals of machine learning and the math and the stats behind machine learning, check out my machine learning roadmap, which covers exactly all the A to Z that you require in order to learn machine learning. And this will go into super detail on exactly what are the steps, what type of resources you should be looking at. And I'll be leaving a link for that in the description box below. Once you have gotten an understanding of exactly what you need to be building, what are your advantages? Let's actually look at the logistics, right? The logistics of moving from being a software developer into a machine learning engineering role. I would highly suggest that if you are currently working as a software developer to look within your industry, to look within your company for machine learning roles or even data scientist roles first before even looking at other companies and even prior to doing that what you can be doing is within your current role of being a software developer you can try to see if there's any projects which are available which your company is working on which involves machine learning and you could try to take that on if not you can also bring this up to your team uh, on how maybe you have found an idea on how to implement machine learning into your existing work within your company and if you could try to bring that up within your existing team that's also an excellent way to build uh, your portfolio as a machine learning engineer whilst being in your current role. So I would say first try to implement uh, machine learning methodologies within your existing work within your role. If not, try to move within your company into an ML or data science role. If all of that uh, doesn't work, you can also try to apply for machine learning roles outside of your company. And that would definitely fare much better if you already have existing experience, but this is definitely great to uh, give a try as well. Hope this video was helpful for you guys, especially if you're planning on transitioning from being a software developer into a machine learning engineer. Thank you guys for watching and see you in my next video.